out there, night guy, back at you. Getting a little late in the evening, just out here gonna do uh, some quick cut tests. Always um, practice safe. Uh, got my um, Cold Steel Messer. Did a recent unboxing video. Gonna uh, finally give it a whirl, give it some cut tests while we still got some daylight. Nice cool evening. Let's get to it. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, uh, this is doing pretty well. This thing cuts pretty smoothly. But so far I'm doing some easy cuts, just kind of letting gravity carry me through. Um, I like using uh, water jugs, uh, gallon water bottles, um, the, 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 I guess you could call them milk jug bottles, um, the style that I was just using. One of my favorites to cut. It's one of the easiest, I'd say, for beginners especially. Um, we're switching over to a 2 liter... Uh, uh, yeah, two liter uh, soda bottle. Um, this is a little bit of a thicker plastic, so this should give me a little more resistance. I'm still going to practice a downward cut to, you know, kind of give myself a little bit ease on the cut. I'm still a beginner, still working on it. Let's see how she handles it. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Got another thicker plastic uh, juice bottle here. Let's see if I could cut from the other side with the same proficiency. Ooh, that one chipped into it. I should get a chance to slow that one down. Almost got all the way through. See the cut? Tripped me up. I'm not gonna blame it on the blade. I'm gonna say that was uh, my own fault. Those left cuts, I'm still working on it. Anyways, let's keep, keep it going. That was an awesome cut. The bottle is still on the target. That was really clean. Let's see if we could give it a thrust. All right, excellent. So he totally ended up pulling off a second cut that I missed. This is the thin sliver that's left of the bottle. The bottle remained on the stand. This was the half piece that remained after the first cut. We could kind of almost put it together there, right on the stand, you'll see. Put that in there. Let's see who we got. Let's see who we got. Look at that. Clean, very, very clean. I'm very impressed. Smashed it more than anything. That last vertical cut, or was that horizontal? I think it was the horizontal. <laughs> um, yeah, the horizontal cut. I tried from a, a low, kind of low stance there. This time I'm gonna make it real easy and just come straight across to try to keep the edge alignment good. Let's see if I could do any better. I don't think that was the sword there. I think it was mine. Let's see if this adjustment and technique helps. Not for me, at least. Oof. Definitely cut in. Let's see if I can perform just a nice, easy downward cut again, just to see, you know, if it is the edge alignment. Yeah, I think it's me. So, uh, I'm definitely giving this a way thumbs up recommendation on it. That last cut I had to do too well. I got the same bottle. It's been taunting me. So I'm gonna switch from cuts and see how a good thrust does for me. I have this I'm yet to do any any thrust with this. Not bad. So definitely got it on a two-handed thrust. This time I'm gonna turn the bottle, making it more of a narrow target, and let's see if I can line it up good on a more fencing style. Little tiny cut there, still got a penetration, but I guess just quick enough to. Yeah, it's leaking out of there, barely. He's leaking. All right, let's see if I can finish this one off. One handed cut, I don't do much of these. Glad I sidestepped. Not quite. 